Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally tackling something you all been waiting for. SSH access on the Snapmaker U1. Now, in that previous upload I said SSH access wouldn't be available until March 2026. Well, technically that's still true for the official firmware. But in the world of custom firmware, surprises happen. Thanks to an incredible talented programmer who goes by the name PAX, we now have an unofficial custom firmware that unlocks SSH today and a whole lot more. Before we dive in, you might want to check out and support PAX's work on coffee. He or she deserves some serious appreciation because this firmware is loaded. So, what exactly are we installing? This extended custom firmware gives you full SSH access, USB Ethernet adapter support, data persistence so your configurations don't disappear after reboots, up to 30 FPS camera feed inside Fluid UI, USB camera support for external webcams, WebRTC low latency streaming, and a fully integrated Fluid V1.35.0 with a time lapse plugin. Basically, it turns the U1 into the printer we all kind of wished it launched as. Now, there are two versions of this firmware the basic custom firmware and the extended custom firmware. In this tutorial, we are using the extended one because it includes external camera support, WebRTC low latency streaming and Fluid with a time lapse plugin. If you're going to mod your printer, you might as well go all in. Before we go any further, this part is important. Installing custom firmware may void your warranty and it can potentially damage your device if something goes wrong. You install this at your own risk. Neither I, nor Pax, nor Snapmaker can be held responsible for any harm that might occur. Now, the good news, reverting back to the official firmware is very easy, so if you ever change your mind, you're not locked in. And also, if you'd rather wait for the Snapmaker's official firmware release, both SSH access and auto features may eventually show up there too. But remember, official SSH alone won't give you all these extra functions, especially the advanced camera streaming and time-lapse tools. Alright, warning over, let's get into the fun part. We've already taken the first hit and installed this firmware on our own system. And honestly, it made us like the Snapmaker U1 even more. The biggest win for me personally is a smooth camera streaming. The old stuttering feed was bothering me for weeks. Now, totally gone. There are a couple of known issues you should be aware of. 1. Camera ghosting. Some users have reported that the camera feed randomly dies and requires a printer restart. Neither I nor Pax have seen this happen yet, but it has been mentioned. 2. Time lapses not visible in the mobile app when using the Snapmaker Cloud. They will be available in Fluid, but not through the official app. Nothing deal breaking, but worth knowing ahead of time. Alright, let's walk through the installation. Before starting, you'll need a USB drive, the extended custom firmware files, a stable power connection for your printer, and a tiny bit of patience. Yes, you! Don't skip steps. Make sure your printer is powered off and remove any work in progress. Clear the workspace because we're flashing firmware, not printing spaghetti. Step 1. Download the firmware. Head to the link provided in the description to download the extended custom firmware. Step 2. Prepare your USB drive. 
format your USB drive as FAT32. Copy the firmware file to the root of the device. That's the main directory, not inside any folders. Step 3. Turn on your SnapMaker U1 and wait for the firmware to load. Step 4. Insert the USB drive. Plug it into the U1's USB port. On the printer's touchscreen, navigate to Settings About Firmware version and then Local Update on the right corner. Select the .bin file from the USB drive. Confirm the installation. Wait for the update to complete. This part takes a few minutes. Don't turn the printer off. Don't remove the USB stick. Don't poke it. Don't breathe too hard on it. Don't whisper doubts into its vents. Just let it finish. Once the installation completes, the printer will reboot itself. Now let's take a look at what you can do with this. SSH access, you can now log into the machine using any SSH client. This is extremely helpful for debugging, advanced configuration and modifying subsystems that aren't exposed in the UI. USB Ethernet adapter support if Wi-Fi isn't your thing or if your workshop is a Wi-Fi dead zone you can now plug in a USB Ethernet adapter for a rock solid wired connection. Data persistence no more losing your configuration on reboot your settings finally stick. Fluid V1.35.0, Fluid gives you a clean, responsive UI and time-lapse support unlocks some great content creation capabilities. WebRTC Low Latency Streaming, this alone makes the upgrade worth it. Your camera feed becomes nearly real-time. Perfect for remote monitoring or just keeping an eye on those delicate first layers. And that's it! With this extended custom firmware, the SnapMaker U1 becomes dramatically more capable. It's a huge upgrade. Again, big thanks to PAX for making this possible. If you found this tutorial helpful, give the video a like, subscribe for more and drop your questions in the comments. Especially if you run into issues. I'll try to help out where I can. Thanks for watching and enjoy your enhanced SnapMaker U1. Bye!